hello guys so in this video we are going to get the user live current location and display it on the google map so for that purpose first of all we have to add the permission that is we will ask the user that the app will get your current location so you can add this permission underscore handler object in order to install the permission handler in our flutter project then once it is added successfully the next thing is go to the android app src main android manifest.xml and here we will add first the location permission so you can simply add user permission android dot permission dot access find location axis underscore find location quotes here on the main dot dot we can implement asking the permission from user by saying permission dot location when in use dot is denied if the permission is denied we will ask for the permission so we can say value of the permission if the value of the permission is true if it is true what it means if it is true if it is true it means that if the permission is denied if it is true then ask for the permission so let's ask dot location when in use dot request so this is how we ask the permission for location now the next thing is let's get the location the current location of user so we can implement here a method above the widget build which will be get current location and then uh, in order to get location of the user we need to use the geolocator package so we can say geolocator add this one then click pub get so it has been added successfully now let's come back here and what we can do is we can say position user position geolocator dot get current position desired accuracy and it will be location accuracy dot best for navigation or you can proceed with other options like it has multiple high low medium reduced so which one do you want for example our app is like for traveling so you will say best for navigation let's create instance of the position by the name position current position of user and then we can assign the user position to it now in order to display the position on the google map we need the location in form of geographic coordinates which means latitude and longitude so for that purpose we can say latlang and we can give it name as user latlang latlang and pass the current position of user dot latitude and then longitude camera position position camera camera position target will be the user let length and how much zoom you want 15 then using the controller google map we can animate camera camera dot 
new camera position and pass the position camera to it this is how we get the current location of the user okay this is how we get the current location of user we convert that location to geographic coordinates that is latitude longitude and then we animate the camera around the user current location on Google map now on our Google map we have to just call the method which is get current location of the user now guys as I always told you guys to please test the application on your real phone and do not test the application on Android emulators but if there is someone who are testing the application on Android emulator then please remember that on the new latest Android Studio versions the Android emulator show blank screen whenever you test the application for the second time and you have to uninstall the app and install the app from the start from the start okay in order to avoid the blank screen so anyways if you are using the uh, emulator then make sure to set the de location for your device by simply clicking on this ex this icon button okay it will open the extended controls click on location and then you can type your location here so I will choose my location okay then select that once you choose the location set location so the location of your device is set now now let's install the app on the phone guys if you get this error which tell you that ext.kotlin version it simply means you have to click on this link it will show you this link click on it and it will open the kotlin site the official Kotlin site it will open and then what you need to do is if you scroll here on this page Kotlin releases it will show you the latest Kotlin version just copy this latest new version of Kotlin come back to your project Android and inside the Android you will see this uh, settings.gradle and inside the settings.gradle you will see this plugin and this one which says organization.jetbrains uh, Kotlin Android this one make sure to change this version to the latest one just like this okay just the Kotlin version new version you have to paste here and once you do that you can install the app on your phone so the app is running now and as you can see it asks for the permission so you will say while using the app So as you can see it gets the current location of the user.